Today's webinar is going to be about ERA's radiochemistry program. I'm Brian Miller, the radiochemistry product line manager here. A little history about ERA. ERA was founded in 1977. We are located in Golden, Colorado. ERA was acquired by Waters Corporation in 2007. In 2011, ERA moved into a new 25,000 square foot facility. Here at ERA, we make uh, various uh, standards. We have wastewater standards, drinking water standards, soil, air and emission standards, microbiology, radiochemistry, and also custom standards. We are a accredited TNI provider. We are also 17043, 17025 accredited, ISO Guide 34, and we are an ISO 9001 registered laboratory. Radiochemistry drinking water studies are offered quarterly. Radiochemistry drinking water studies are open for 45 days. MRAD PT studies are offered semi-annually. MRAD standards or studies are open for 60 days. All radiochemistry studies results are returned within two business days of the close of each study. And ERA is the only provider to have results within two days. Down below is a li list of all the drinking water and MRAD studies for this year with the open dates, closed dates, and the day that you should have the results by. Radiochemistry drinking water studies consist of six standards. All of them are offered as PT and QC standards. We have a strontium standard, a gamma emitter standard, gross alpha beta, iodine-131, naturals, and a tritium. This table shows all the products and their activity ranges and the units. Our gamma emitter standards has a, a wide variety of uh, gamma emitting isotopes from the low end to the high end of the energy levels. Our natural standards consist of radium-226, 228, and UNAT. This is the NELAC FOPT table. This is kind of where our uh, all of our products are uh, built from. Um, it's, uh, the NELAC the, determines what the concentration ranges will be for all the analytes. There's the acceptance criteria, and the acceptance criteria is used to de determine what the um, acceptance ranges will be for each product, the, uh, and that is determined on what the assigned value is. All this table can be find, found at the uh, www.nelac-institute.org, so you guys can refer to that at a later time. And all these slides will be uh, on our website, so you can go back and review them later. PT study common issues. Uh, reporting problems. Reporting inaccurate results is the most common reporting problem seen during evaluation. Below are common problems that can lead to inaccurate results. Incorrect units, incorrect decay correction. All of the RADCHEM standards come with a reference date, and all, all your results need to be decay corrected to that date for reporting. And also, unaccounted for dilution factors. Gross beta is cesium-137. When cesium-137 is used as a calibration isotope for gross beta analysis, conversion and auger electrons from barium-137 metastable should be accounted for when assigning gross beta activity values. This added beta activity results in an additional 9.34% gross beta activity versus the standard cesium-137 activity. Failure to account for the added gross beta activity can result in bias in reporting results. Method 903.0 issues. Method 903.0 measures all alpha emitting radium isotopes and is not specific to just radium 226. The, the issue occurs in testing samples and PT standards that contain radium 226 and radium 228. This issue is magnified in PT standards when radium-228 is set high and radium-226 is set low in their activity ranges. 
sources for the sources for this additional alpha activity are radium-226 and the buildup of its three alpha-emitting decay products. The decay of radium-224 and its four alpha-emitting decay products and the buildup of thorium-228, radium-224 and its four alpha-emitting decay products at the time of radium-228 separation. The solution is allow radium-224 which has a half-life of 3.66 days and progeny isotopes to decay prior to counting and calculating radium-226 concentrations. Also, the ingrow table contained within the method must be extended beyond 10 days. And what this graph here shows is in blue is the standard ingrow factors that are, that are in the 903.0 method. In green shows how we have extended out the table to show, to show how, where, how the ingrow factor gets as close as it can to four. So the longer you wait, the better it is to use that factor in your calculations. MRAD PT studies. The MRAD PT program offers performance evaluation standards designed for DOE testing laboratories. MRAD study standards consist of three different matrices. We have a soil product which comes in a 500 cc white poly jar containing roughly 650 grams of spiked soil. We have a vegetation standard which also comes in the same jar, contains about 250 spiked dried powdered spinach. We also have a gross alpha beta air filter, a multi isotope air filter, a whole volume tritium standard, a water gross alpha beta standard, and a multi-isotope water standard. This slide here shows all of the MRAD products, has their PT catalog number, the, Q the QC catalog number, the parameter, the activity ranges, and the units. All questions can be submitted to ERA through our website or we will we we'll collect uh, all the questions down at the bottom of the chat and we will uh, answer those questions at a later time.